Certainly at some point in your life you've encountered warm beer and wanting to drink it. So today we're gonna investigate what is the fastest way to chill a beer. Let's lay some ground rules here. First things first, every test used a 12 ounce can of Miller Lite. My starting temperature, my room temperature, was 70 degrees Fahrenheit in all cases. And then the temperature that I was going down to was 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me explain why I picked those two. 70 degrees is really out of laziness. I could warm the cans back up, 70 felt good. I didn't wanna go any higher and it saved time. 40 degrees Fahrenheit is kind of the maximum range of what a refrigerator would be set to. So refrigerators are usually set between 34 degrees Fahrenheit and 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So to save time on my tests, I only went down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. All of these tests were conducted five times per category. These are aluminum cans. I'm sure glass would be very different. So take this with a grain of salt. All right, I'm not a big fan of clickbait, so I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, the fastest method out of the first four, refrigerator, freezer, ice, and ice water, is definitely ice water. Now, if you've got tons of hours, of course you would just take the beer, throw it into the fridge, and then just walk away, no issue, come back in a few hours and it's probably fine. The average time that we got for chilling in the refrigerator was four hours and 43 minutes with a pretty low standard deviation. The next logical place to put the beer would be in the freezer. And we got some interesting results there, some high variance, but the average time to chill a beer in the freezer, we got 45 minutes and 25 seconds. But I think there were some issues with placement. If anything was touching the can, that obviously would make a huge deal. I tried to keep everything off the can for the entire time, but putting the can in and keeping the door closed would be the best thing you can do to get the lowest amount of time. So we did have a high standard deviation for the freezer. The lowest time that we actually got for the freezer was about 35 minutes, and the highest time we got was about 54 minutes, just to show you why that standard deviation is so high. I think it has a lot to do with where we placed it and if the freezer was in a cooling period or not. The next thing we tried was just using ice. The average time for just using ice was 42 minutes, 14 seconds. 42 minutes and 14 seconds, so we improve on the freezer, but we have the highest standard deviation using just ice, which I thought was really interesting. And I think I know why that is. When the can is in the ice, immediately the ice starts melting and moving away from the can. So you're losing that contact of the ice up against the can, which would cool it more quickly. So depending on where you put the can in the ice has a large impact on the outcome. So if you put higher up in the ice where more ice is not gonna fall onto it as it melts, then it's gonna become exposed and it's gonna cool down much more slowly. You put it deeper in the ice, as the ice melts, other ice may fall in and regain that contact on the can to cool it more quickly. We were seeing times of using the ice as low as 18 minutes, but also as high as an hour and 15 minutes. So we had a really high variance there, totally depending on where you put it in the ice. Now the ice water consistently gave us the lowest time at 16 minutes and four seconds. The fastest we were able to pull that off was about 13 minutes with the slowest being about 21 minutes. So using that ice water is absolutely the best method to use for chilling the beer. Go ahead and reach way down in that cooler, get all the way down to that water and that beer is gonna get cold quick. But this is YouTube and of course we can't stop there. So I asked around to some friends if they had some other methods. One of the ones that I hadn't heard about before but I figured I would try was wrapping a can in a damp paper towel and then putting it in the freezer. Initially I was like, this sounds really stupid and it's not gonna work. But I figured, hey, we're social distancing, I'm just gonna try it. So five tests done with a damp paper towel and I was actually surprised to learn that the average time from the paper towel was 37 minutes and 40 seconds. So we shaved off seven to eight minutes compared to just putting it in the freezer. We did have a high standard deviation. I don't think that's the paper towel's fault. I think that just has to do with my freezer and my setup because I was getting that high variance just using the can as well. But I thought that was really interesting. So a damp paper towel 
will cool a can in the freezer on average about seven minutes faster. The next thing we wanted to try was why not use salt on the ice to see if we can get that water even colder. Just ice water, the water was around 33 degrees, which makes sense. Ice melts, makes water, has to be above 32, right? So if you add salt, we can drop that water temperature pretty significantly. So we added a ton of just regular salt to this ice and we were able to get the water down to 22 degrees. So huge difference between salt and no salt. With the water at 22 degrees, we were able to achieve an average time to cool that beer of nine minutes and 24 seconds, down from 16 minutes and four seconds just using ice water. So we almost cut the time totally in half. The fastest time we were able to pull that off was about seven and a half minutes, with the longest time being about 11 minutes. Flying, we're flying. So all you have to do is show up to your friend's party with beer, warm beer, and a huge thing of salt, and then you, you go to the ice chest, <laughs> you open it up, throw your beer in, and then just cover everything in salt, and you'll have really cold beer really quickly. <laughs> And everyone making mixed drinks will be, be surprised. And of course, we couldn't stop there, so the last thing we decided to try was dry ice. So we took some dry ice, about 20 pounds, crushed it up into small cubes, put that in the ice chest, and then put the beer directly into the dry ice. And this, of course, yielded the fastest times to chill our beers. And the average time to chill the beer with the dry ice was about four minutes and 30 seconds. So we took that salt water time and then halved it again. Really impressive to watch that beer just drop like a rock in temperature. The standard deviation was very low. The lowest time that we had was three minutes and 45 seconds. And the highest time that we had was five minutes and 30 seconds. So a very low deviation for the dry ice method. So if you got some dry ice, of course, it'll be the fastest way. But I was really impressed with the salt and water method. Of course, that makes sense because you make ice cream with it as well. But the most practical one, just take those beers, jam them way down in the cooler until they get into the water, and that's gonna be the fastest for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching Break It Yourself. As always, don't forget to thumbs me up and we'll see you next time.